you have written, I think, uh, uh, well, you, you, can tell, you can tell us what you've written, but I think you, you, uh, go, you have a somewhat different view. Let's put it that yes, way. Uh, yes, uh, thanks a lot. Let me begin uh, with a comment from a column by Tom Friedman on this past April 22nd, in which he, as he is doing now almost obsessively, focuses on the dysfunctionality of the American national political system. And he concluded the column by saying, does America need an Arab Spring? His answer was basically yes. Quote, we can't be great as long as we remain a vitocracy rather than a democracy. Our deformed political system with a Congress that's become a forum for legalized bribery is now truly holding us back, um, unquote. Um, I basically agree with Friedman's obsession that the American national government, and for that matter, the California state government, I don't have any argument uh, with David on that, um, are dysfunctional. Where what disappoints me about Friedman and the wide number of pundits across the political spectrum, uh, uh, you know, Tom Mann and Norm Ornstein have recently published a book, It's Even Worse Than It Looks. Um, what disappoints me is that almost all of these critiques, there are few fleeting exceptions, never take into account the role that the US Constitution plays in the dysfunctionality. It's as if we have the political system we do independently of decisions made in 1787 and to a remarkable degree left unchanged since 1787. My view is that some of our dysfunctionality, I want to be very clear about this, um, I wear two hats, one of them is a political scientist. I do not believe that the Constitution explains everything that's wrong with the United States any more than I think it makes any sense to say that the Constitution explains everything that's right with the United States. I do believe that there are aspects of the United States Constitution that really are a clear and present danger, to coin a phrase, and that it is more than past time for people like Friedman and other critics of the current national system to realize that some of this has to do with decisions made in 1787. 